It's no secret that the blue nose pit bull is in very high demand. It seems like everybody's starting to get this dog. You'll see one in everybody's home, everybody's family, and they become a very hot trend in the recent years. And today I wanna to break down some of the pros and cons behind this blue colored dog and what to look out for if you decide you wanna get one in the future. So keep watching. First, I want to start off by saying that a blue-nosed pit bull is not a specific breed. A lot of people say, oh, a blue-nosed pit bull, a red-nosed pit bull, and they think this is actually a breed of dog. It is not. It's simply just the color of the nose, nothing more than that. And a lot of people will say, there's a big debate. Is this a real American pit bull terrier that's blue? Is it not an American pit bull terrier? Is it an Amstaff instead? It's a huge debate that I feel like will never get solved. But I do want to say that it is not a specific breed. So I want to cover some pros and cons about this dog. But first, let's start with the lifespan and what can you expect if you decide to get this dog. A good life expectancy in any dog breed depends on three key factors, such as the genetic diversity, the shape and structure of the dog's body, and the quality of nutrition and health care provided for that dog, okay? While some blue-nosed pit bulls may suffer from increased health problems, the average pit bull lifespan is around 10 to 15 years. And if they inherit good body shape and structure, this means their legs are not too short, which helps avoid back problems. Their muzzles are not too short. It helps avoid breathing and overheating problems. Here are some cons of owning the blue nose pit bull. They are prone to health problems such as skin allergies that can lead to common trips to the vet. You can ask for the health test before you get the dog, but just know that this is common, especially with pit bulls in general, short haired dogs like the pit bull, they tend to get a lot of skin allergies. They could be a poor guard dog because they're very playful with a lot of strangers that come inside their yard. It takes a lot of good protection training to be able to get them to be an excellent guard dog. Another con is they could be restricted in cities and neighborhoods. A lot of HOAs, you know, kind of ban these dogs. It really just depends on your city. A lot of them are saying no to these kind of dogs. Some are uplifting nowadays, but you just really have to do your due diligence if you're wanting this dog in the neighborhood. They will need consistent training and exercise. I know I put this as a con, but if you're a very busy person, this dog cannot be with you because these dogs need a lot of attention, exercise, and training to be able to calm down some of their excitement, their energy. They can have high prey drive and dog sensitivity. Now, these dogs are always wanting to work. They always want to do some kind of job, and they could be sensitive to dogs such as aggressive towards dogs, so it does take a lot of socialization to be able to knock that out of them, but some are naturally born with that so it will take a lot of socializing. You can also still experience discrimination from people about your dog. You know, it's a pit bull. There's a lot of people that misinterpret a pit bull for what the dog actually is. So that is very common to this day and I don't think it's going away soon. Now I do want to name some pros of owning this dog because there's a lot of pros and there's a lot of good things that come with this dog. Now the obvious one is they could be great pets for any home and they're able to adapt to your living situation. Whether you have kids, whether you're a, a very active person, some dogs are even lazy. It really depends on what kind of dog you are getting. You are also getting a smart dog that sticks out from other dogs by their color. They really stick out, they really bring themselves out and that's why I see them being a high trend nowadays. They look excellent, especially when you have a very nice, obedient dog They can stick out from the pack. If you socialize them correctly, they can have a great temperament with other dogs and they could be excellent with children. As long as you start socializing early, these dogs could be great with living with other dogs. Sometimes they're just naturally great, all right? These dogs could be friendly from the jump. Even though socialization is important, it might not take as much for them to be uh, very accepting of other dogs and especially with children. They can also be easier to train as long as you're consistent. I feel like these dogs are smart enough to start picking up on what you want from them from day one. I've seen this with my past dog, Mary Jane. Excellent dog to train. It was the easiest dog I've ever trained and I really loved her. She was a blue nose. Another pro is they're easy to maintain, such as grooming and care, all right? They have short hair. I feel like they're, they might shed just as much as other dogs, but I honestly don't see it around the house. I still clean up and everything, but I just don't see as much shedding going on. They're very easy to groom. They're easy to take a shower. And um, I think just keeping up with their grooming needs is very easy. And they also make great companions 
and adapt to anything you got going on. You could take him out for a hike. You could chill all day long. It really doesn't matter. Your dog is able to adapt to you. I know this can apply for many different other breeds, but I just want to let you know that the Blue Nose Pit Bull is really a great dog. If you were to ask me today, should I get a Blue Nose Pit Bull? As long as you're a good owner and ready to put in some work, I would say yes, absolutely. Now leave a comment. Do you have a Blue Nose Pit Bull? What's their name and how long have you had them? I'm curious to what you guys got out there. If you even want to take it a step further, you could join our Facebook group and start posting some pictures so I could go and check them out, see what you guys got, introduce yourselves. And I will see you on the next one. I am out.